That's amazing. Like, you know, I mean, to, to be back here in Scotland and we filmed in Scotland and it's a Scottish play and it's, um, I don't know, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty remarkable, you know, and the, I would not have done the film if we couldn't have, you know, shot here and, uh, and, and really brought the texture and the might of Scotland into the film. It's a pretty, it's a pretty remarkable place. Like, I'm Australian and there's something about the Scottish that uh, I really connect to in terms of fun and strength and, um, and, and real humour. So, um, yeah, I, I, I have a, a deep love for the place. Well, yeah, I mean, I think Macbeth comes with a lot of baggage. You know, everyone's read it at school and everyone's seen many productions of it. I think you've just got to be honest with it. I mean, there are many productions that where you get the chance to go and film in the real uh, place where where many of the many of the verse was taking place. So it's uh, you know that 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 in itself brings a kind of something contemporary and brings something very real to it. So it was I don't know maybe making the verse much more intimate, maybe making the story finding a cinema in the story. Um, and I think people are really interested in that. I mean I think Macbeth is a blockbuster. I think every four hours a production is done around the world, you know, as, as a play. So, it's, you know, it, it's a very loved piece. Um, you know, and Shakespeare was doing this well before Game of Thrones. So, it's a, you know, it was a really exciting to be able to uh, bring the words to screen again, but also I think um, bring the landscape to screen that, that the verse was celebrating. Well, I only did it because of Michael. I mean, I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't. Michael, it, when it was offered to me, it was Macbeth, and they said, "Oh, Michael's attached," and it was everything. And I think it's because he's um, he, by far he's the most interesting actor uh, of his generation at the moment. I think that he's uh, in a really um, powerful place in his career in terms of his craftsmanship and his confidence. And it was, I think, the timing of him doing Macbeth now um, was was kind of perfect. So. A lot of it was just him, you know. A lot of it was kind of the opportunity to work with him on this role um, in this time was something uh, I just couldn't resist. Yeah, it is. Look, I, t I just wanted uh, people that I really admired as actors. So, you know, Paddy Constantine and Sean Harris, David Thewlis, um, Marianne Cotillard, who I just uh, adored and loved. So I was very, very lucky. You know, I got, I've got some serious, um, uh, very honest uh, actors to be in this piece. and. And I think it really kind of set the tone of the sort of film that I wanted it to be. Look, I, I think, you know, the, the words are stunning. They, there's no one else that, that writes like him. But I think his themes are just still universal. I think people, I mean, I think Game of Thrones, I think uh, House of Cards, I think Sopranos, Goodfellas, they all borrow from the sort of themes that Shakespeare was uh, writing about. So, I mean, I was even watching Breaking Bad at the time, and the, the whole idea of Walt's descent into kind of madness is so similar to, to Macbeth. So, you know, I think that there's something uh, every man about the work, but, but also this one, I think, you know, the, the, a man who's kind of edging and searching for evil and darkness, I think is, is always pretty uh, exhilarating. In terms of a character journey, um, well, I think they're going to take a, a very different um, perception of violence and how these two become violent, and, uh, and hopefully a, a different kind of twist on ambition. You know, I think that these two are pretty fractured souls at the beginning of this film, and I think that they use ambition in a very different way to what it's been used before. And, and in that, the humanity in those choices, I think, feel very contemporary and very, I think, close to a modern audience. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!